So, hi everyone, welcome to the uh, Sprint Demo 65. Uh, in this this one, I'll be sharing what we worked on uh, from the point of view of data ingestion. Uh, we normally ingest data on the fly, like while our projects are being served, we also ingest data side by side. Uh, here, what we wanted to do is do some dedicated data ingestioning based on few of our projects. So there is ODH. ODH, ODH is already having a lot of Jupyter Hub notebooks, and they are being already used by a lot of data scientists. So uh, we want from dot side that it should be always be able to do dot Thomas advice or provide recommendations all the time. So we wanted to ingest the data, opti ingest the data before users can request them. Similarly, there was another uh, new image added to ODH uh, list of packages um, called Ray, Ray, and we wanted to do the same for that. So we came up with uh, this list of things which we wanted to do so that we can do a ingestion uh, dedicatedly on these packages. What we did is we stopped our staging cluster uh, so that we, does, we do not interrupt our current users. And or, and we have started to ingest it. So by stopping, we have normally used to run a few of the jobs. We basically have closed the package update job and CVE update job. So CVE update job updates the CVE, and package update job updates uh, if there is any packages which have different uh, char or something up being updated in PyPA. But because this is being newly ingested, we make sure that these things are are already fixed. So we have stopped our uh, other other applications or services so that no one is going to this and it's the system is purely being used for the ingestion. And then we started by removing the database, uh, database and cleaned it up and then created a new database. The first thing which we added to the database was schema update and then some solver rules. So solver rules can be looked on uh, the project called init job. Inside the init job, there is a solver rule. So this rule states that we don't want to ingest all the packages before 2016 because we feel that's the limit from where people should start using the packages before that those versions were still not usable. So we have uh, looked for a few of the topics like that. And, and based on them, we have Create, curated this solver rules. So the database is added with this solver rules. Um, I can show you in a raw form how it looks. It's basically a JSON with all this information that a package name and this, uh, the ingestion should only go about this version and should not neglect the other, other versions which are below this specifier. Uh, so these rules are added and then we go and do ingestion on a particular uh, list of packages. So some list of packages are defined here. So one is the ODH ones. So these list of packages and this one. We had our inner job def defined, which basically uh, does the schema update and the job, uh, the rules update. And then based on this set of rules, uh, set of packages, it used to schedule them. We changed it a little bit to make it uh, uh, up to date with our current uh, uh, flow. We, right now, we are trying to, instead of directly scheduling, it sends messages to Kafka. And then from Kafka, the investigator really uh, creates all these solver rules, solvers. So that I can show you from the script. Uh, I hope you can see my screen here as well. So what yep. we have done, uh, what we have done is we have changed a little bit. We have added some Kafka messages, which it can produce. And it yep. looks for Hush all up. these. Can, can you guess what I'm trying to ask? No, yes, thanks. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so what it does is it, it looks for 
the packages which needs to be uh, needs to be solved. So for example, right now we are just concentrating on the ODH ones and the Ray ones. So it will curate them, ask for uh, ask the uh, the Toth stay, uh, database if which indexes should it look for, and based on that, it will start ingesting, uh, sending out messages to ingest the packages which are uh, not being already ingested. So it will send out messages from there. The Kafka should uh, from there the investigator should pull it and do some so uh, schedule some scrolling. So it it does have hourly updates uh, so every hour it uh, produces some uh, solvers so there is an investigator which is looking into it and it schedules uh, so this is basically saying uh, it's being used so there is no quota so that's that's the issue as of now so as it, there should be middle tier uh, in which all the resolver or solvers happens so we have switched on only for solver three uh, solver ubi 8 python 3 8 and it's being solved uh, up till this point we have switched it on and we can see and and we have some metrics where we can see all this information so there's this dot knowledge graph content metrics where we can see that we have solved 92 to 43 packages already and we are there are 11 that uh, 11000 more which we need to solve uh, this has been only switched on last week because we were we fall into some of the issues and we were fixing them but as of now this should be uh this should take uh, one more spin but it's two two weeks and to complete all this ingestion once this is done then on the those dedicated packages we can do recommendation without any issue and then we will go ahead and start solving for federal 34 and python 39 that would be our next step so this is what we have done and this we have achieved achieved with inner job which runs as a, a workflow so in dot application we have inner job defined everything is uh Everything is defined by defined as an Argo workflow. So there is an initializer workflow which will start based on a first initializing schema. What I talked about, uh, uh, then it will in this step it will do the solver. Uh, so registration of indexes. Uh, in this step itself, it will do the solver roots ingestion as well, and then start the core package. And we have removed this part for now. This. Uh, instead of this, we will be sorting the ODH packages and the array packages. So that's been already triggered and it's been running. So we will wait for this week and monitor this uh, and see if we can achieve uh, the goal which we have set. So that's about it. If anyone has any questions. Um, maybe just with regards to uh, the time frame, um, how, how long? Is it, um, it's 9,000 and a little bit and uh, 12,000. So so it's a lot of packages, 21,000 or so. Um, um, how long does it take to ingest all that data? Uh, for uh, for 9,000 packages, it takes one week, but we are working on reducing this, uh, the uh, rate lower by uh, doing some optimization on the resources and the, the limit which we have on on the quota so we will try to achieve more but as of now it will try to finish i think 2000 packages per day something like that so so it's basically limited by the uh what is it memory available on uh the zero cluster on, uh, but this is staging cluster so this is running on psi so ah. we yeah so limits on the memory so we are trying to optimize that based on sh yeah. shifting that here and that here. OK, good. Um, good. Uh, why is it OK to run that on the stage cluster? Because we can always copy the resulting files, the resulting JSON files from whatever ZEF to production ZEF. 
Yes, and uh, we didn't want to interrupt any flow as of now for users yeah. to use it. So there are already a lot of packages being sold in production as well. So users can use them without having any issue. Uh, I can show that as well. We have here, we have already solved 47,000 packages, but this includes Fedora 38 and Fedora, sorry, Fedora 34, Python 3.9, and UBI 8, Python 3.8, uh, both. Uh, but there are some specific packages which are missing. Uh, um, so that, yes, I think in, in prod, like uh, the, we are not collecting metrics because we introduce a feature that uh, if the schema is not up to date, all the metrics basically, as you see, most of them are zero. Because uh, it's, if the schema is not up to date, we will not collect metrics. So we cannot rely yeah. on them. So we need to update the uh, prod schema. OK. But the number would be something similar to that, right? It could not be above the number which we are saying. It can go above currently. But this would be the number of solved already solved numbers, right? Good. So it's it's basically a good application of shadow IT, right? We are running parts of our system on the Red Hat internal stage environment. And by just copying the JSON files and ingesting them into the production database on operate first, we simply get it basically for free. We did all yes. the calculations, burning CPU and memory internally and uh, profit from it outside that's good yeah yes that's a goal so that's what we are waiting for and they should have everything cool nice any other question thanks Hashar. Right. Uh, thank you